What are the differences in RTI for reading versus math? So math and reading, RTI, um, have the same structure. We have uh, a need to identify students who are at risk for poor learning outcomes, so we do screening. We have a need to um, deliver an intervention to students who are designated as having risk for poor learning outcomes, so we have a tier two intervention. We have a need to figure out whether students who have received tier two intervention um, have responded or not, and so we have a need to conduct progress monitoring over the course of the tier two intervention to quantify a student's responsiveness. Uh, so we do progress monitoring as part of RTI, whether it's reading or math. And for students who don't respond, we need more intensive interventions uh, to address their individual learning needs. Um, and so we have tier three intervention, regardless of whether it's reading or math. But there are some challenges uh, that exist for math uh, that are uh, different than for reading. With reading, um, precursor skills generally facilitate the learning of later skills such that if we conduct early prevention activities, um, we are hopeful that students will progress through school um, with good outcomes. Now that's not always true. There is a certain percentage of students who emerge around fourth or fifth grade with reading comprehension problems. Um, and we have to be uh, on the outlook for, uh, to pick up those children to intervene um, when we can first identify those reading comprehension difficulties. Uh, but in math, the problems are more complicated um, because the curriculum in math uh, changes, takes certain twists and turns um, that is not true in the case of reading. So for example, in early math we have a curriculum that comprises um, calculation skill, including retrieval of basic facts, we have word problems, we have early kinds of geometry and measurement, we have a very heavy emphasis on number concepts. But beginning around fourth and fifth grade, we have a dramatic uh, new topic that's introduced to the curriculum, which is fractions. And some of what children learn um, about number concepts uh, in the primary grades does not really facilitate and may in fact make learning of fractions more difficult. So for example, students learn that the number eight is larger than the number five. But when we get to the topic of fractions, the number one-eighth is smaller than one-fifth. Um, that's a source of tremendous confusion. We also have two numbers um, within a single fraction that students have to think of as one quantity. That's often confusing to students. And then when we get to um, around eighth, eighth and ninth grade, the topic of algebra is introduced and throughout high school um, very different branches of mathematics are uh, required uh, in every grade. So um, math uh, creates challenges for a school system such that when we intervene in kindergarten and first and second grade and uh, firm up children's understanding of number and calculation and word problem skill, um, that doesn't um, create always the foundation that they need to prepare them for the challenges that emerge as the math curriculum becomes more complicated and diverse.